George or Too Little Too Late on Radio 1. Uh, there you go. I think we sold it, and we sold it well. The fact that Wednesday on BBC mm. Radio 1 is dedicated to Harry Potter and the new film, which name kind of... And the Half-Blood Prince. That's the one, and the Half-Blood Prince. I'll be excited. Oh, who is that? Is that me or you? Might be me, is I it? I do apologise. No, me. it's not me. It's not me. I don't think it was me, but just in case, mm. I'll just throw that form to one side. Do you have a favourite duke? <laughs> do you have a favourite duke? Do you have a favourite duke? That's not Norfolk. It is Norfolk. Yeah, it is. Come on. Do you have a favourite joke? 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 Do you have a... It's not Norfolk, it's just friendly. Do you have a favourite duke? <laughs> now, after the news and a couple of tracks, we're going to be playing the uh, Checkers Pop Quiz. Yeah. Now, I will be honest with you. you yeah. Know, whilst Chris is aware, even when it's on air, I don't understand it. <laughs> so, uh, may the good Lord above yeah. help me control mm. the ones and twos as uh, Dave, your good self, I hope, will hold my hand and guide me through Checkers Pop Quiz. I will hold it and hold it well. Good lad. Good lad. <laughs> 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 Your hand, obviously. <laughs> well, what did you think? No, then? nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sleeping. Said it before, and I'll say it again. First and last, David. <laughs> <laughs> right, coming up, we've got Papa Hollish, Ken, Lily Allen as well, and we'll be playing Checkers Pop Quiz. Here's Dom. Online. This, this is BBC Radio 1. Here's Dom and Carrot with all the latest news from Newsbeat. There's a memorial for soldiers who've died in Britain's worst 24 hours in Afghanistan. And in sport, England are accused of time-wasting in Cardiff. 9.33 now. Do you have a favourite joke? <laughs> <laughs> Bit of Rihanna disturb you on Radio 1. Right then, here we go. I think I am prepared. Dave, are you ready, my friend? Ready. All right, good. Are you ready, gang? Dom? Ready. Harry? Ready. This could go anywhere, trust me. <laughs> Now, as you know, I do love a good game show. But this one confuses me. This is going straight to the Sony Radio Award judges. It really is. Let's go. To Jagger's Pop Quiz on International Radio One. It's a pop quiz and it's hosted by me, Jaggers, which is why we call it Jagger's Pop Quiz. <laughs> right then, are you ready, everyone? Yeah. yeah. Let's welcome into the arena today's contestants. Jagger's Pop Quiz. Hello, line one. That should be Hi. Cara. Hello, Ben. Hello, team. Hi, Hi Cara. Good morning, Cara. How are you? I'm really well today. A little bit nervous talking to you, Vernon. That's all right. What did you do at the weekend? I have spent the weekend um, travelling up to my mum and dad's and then seeing my sister and celebrating my dad's birthday. How old was he? He was 50. Well, he's going to be 55. Oh, good right. Nice. Nice. Good luck. Good evening. Well done. What does he do for a living? He's a teacher. Oh, an- another male teacher. Two in one mm. show. Can you? But I think we've done the whole of the nation now. Yeah. <laughs> male teachers. Uh, does he enjoy himself? He does indeed. He enjoys himself very much. Good lad. How are the kiddies? They're really good. Um, for those that were listening last week, Charlotte's now all better. So. Oh, oh, good. good. That's really, we have had some text on 81199 yeah. asking how Charlotte was. Oh, so, bless. Yeah, so it's good that you did actually uh, reveal that information to, mm, the, yeah. to the nation mm. and, and calm their walls. <laughs> what, are you doing, yeah, what are you doing when we finished? Um, today, not much, um, but as of tomorrow, visiting lots of friends I haven't seen for a couple of months. Why have you not seen them for a couple of months? I moved away from Chester in March, and uh, so now I'm back up here, I'll go and see them all. Oh my God. Are you going out anywhere nice, just going for a, a bit of lunch with the kiddies and what have you? We're going to be taking the kids to the indoor play areas, the soft play areas, which oh. is going to be a bit mad. See, I, when I take my, my four-year-old, five-year-old to the soft play area, mm. I can't help but get involved. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, you're a sort of soft play dad, aren't you? Yeah, mm. yeah, I am. But I always get carried away with the, uh, you know, the ball pits. Yeah, oh, yeah. Always, <laughs> always end up launching a couple and making, you know, baby yeah. cry a little bit. <laughs> oh, daddy, not so hard. Do they still have Sorry. one of them at that well-known Swedish furniture retailer? 
The what? The yellow and blue one? Yes. Yes, I, I think they used to have one of those ball pits as you went in on the entrance. They did indeed, yeah. yeah. But you know what confuses me about all that is, is like... You go there, you lead the kids, and I always get I always get lost in I in that place. Yeah. That one that begins with I. I, I remember. I, I yeah, I, yeah. I, I do too. Because some of the stuff that they got there is, is quite reasonable value for money in this <laughs> yeah. age of the credit crunch. So I always get carried away and lost in the aisles. Well, you know? is, are there not arrows on the floor where you can actually follow which Yeah, way but you know, you I always innovate, don't imitate. Don't go right. with the grain, go against the grain. I always wander off. I don't well, know I find attention. them misleading as well, those arrows. Yeah, they me make too. you go around the whole store. Yeah. And I may not want to go around the whole store. Mm. I only, only want to yucca plant you've yeah. got to, you're in there for an hour <laughs> exactly and you end up buying that picture you know the picture which is taken of the pier yeah. it's like a pier <laughs> yeah. With, yeah. With, on a, uh, anyway yeah. and you can't walk past the glasses counter no. without getting six wine glasses for a quid mm. absolutely <laughs> something like that alright well, uh, Cara you wait there let's introduce Natalie hiya Natalie morning how are morning. you Hiya. I'm you? good how are you we're very good very good indeed uh, you sound a little bit tired how's your teeth um, sore. I've spent the whole weekend crying in my bed in pain. Oh. Are these your vampire teeth, Natalie? No, it's my wisdom tooth. Right. I oh. went to the dental hospital yesterday and got it seen to, so mm. well, I've got antibiotics now, so I should be able to. Oh, Painful. Mm. Doesn't sound yeah, fun, does it? I'm just trying to make myself better. I've got a concert tonight and I really want to go, so... What concert is it? Neo and Kerry Hilson. Oh. Mm. Mm. Right. Well, you want to get yourself better for that. I'm doing this. my best friend, so I do need to be better. Mm. I want right. to cheer her up. Well, shall we crack on then? Yes. Please. All right. Well, you wait there, okay? Okay, Vernon. Why don't you run through today's categories for our first caller to select? Right, Cara. Are you ready? I am indeed. All right. You can choose from one of these categories. Are you ready? Yes. Butter my baps. <laughs> it's not one of the categories, it's just something I'd like you to do. No, the first one is Butter My Baps, Famous Bands from Burnley, Sticky Wicket, Fish or Fruit, and One Hit Wonders. Um, I'm going to go with Sticky Wicket. Ah, good choice. You're going to go Sticky Wicket. I'll just the get safest it. option. Get it in for you, Cara. <laughs> is it in, Dave? Always slow on a Monday. It's nearly there. Oh, it's a bit sticky. Right, right, there you go, it's in. All right, are you ready? Yes. Let's play. Okay. Ready, steady. Pop quiz! Jiggas pop quiz! Looking good. Here we go. <laughs> good luck to you both, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Jackie Chan and the Wu Tang Clan have a timeshare windmill in Old Amsterdam. Hey. <laughs> hey. That was Cara. No, that was Natalie. You said hey. Why well, said hey? All oh, right, okay then, Natalie. Sorry. Sorry, Alice. <laughs> That's all right. Go for it. Uh, false. But how many members are there in the group JLS? Hey. Natalie. Four. That's the right answer. Yay! Yay. She's a vampire, you see. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jordan Sparks owns an organic pig farm in Mississippi called Jordan Porks. <laughs> <laughs> but is that true or hey. false? Hey, Natalie. False. It false is the right it answer. Is yeah. False. Yay. yeah. Hang on. Are you ready? Who's this? Oh, sorry. Blue one. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Who's this? <laughs> wait! 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 Cara. <laughs> It's Cascada. Yes, well done, yeah. Mr. Cascada. Has one of you got your radio on that we can yeah. hear feeding back? No, no, I've not got radio on okay. at all. It's a bit of feedback. Let me sort out my levels. Let me turn that down. Hang on. Right, there you go. That's a bit better, yeah? Perfect. Right, good Uh Unscramble this anagram to reveal the name of a well-known British band. Pulled Claire. Hey! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was Natalie. Oh, Pulled Claire. Coldplay is the right answer. Yay! True or false? Pink is brilliant at snooker. Hey! Alid, who was that? Oh, that was Cara Just. Cara Just? I go with false. False is the right answer. Yeah, well it is indeed. Well done, Cara. Who's Thank the you. youngest man out of these fruit based celebrity offspring? Peaches Geldof or Apple Martin? Way! Way, that That's was. Cara. Cara. It's Apple Harting. Apple Martin Apple is the Martin. right answer. Well done, well done indeed. All right, are you ready? 